Welcome back to Sports Talk with Jordan. We're doing NFL Hot Takes with Jacob. Starting off at the AFC East. We're going to be rating each team and talking about each team uh, based on how well they did last year in 2020. So we're going to be starting off with the winner of the division, the Buffalo Bills. Jacob, what do you think about the Bills? Don't get me wrong, as a Jets fan, this is hard to say. The Bills have a bright future, but they're going to fall off a little bit this year due to just some lack of key components that make a stud team. Don't get me wrong, Josh Allen is a top five quarterback, and Stephon Diggs is a top ten, maybe even top five receiver, but they lack the components of a good running back, a good linebacking core, and a second cornerback to help out Trey White out there for teams with two good receivers. The Bills have a bright future, but this year it could be anywhere between 11 and 6 and 13 and 4. Completely agree with you. I don't know if Josh Allen's a top 5, maybe like top 8, top 6 area, because uh, I can think of a lot of players in front of him. For example, um, uh, I hate to say it. The only it. quarterbacks better than Josh Allen currently are Patrick Mahomes, Aaron Rodgers, Russ, and Russell Wilson. Uh, do you think Deshaun Watson's better than him? I do. Yep, Deshaun Watson. He's top five, though. Wait, did, uh, what about Tom? Tom? We're getting off track a little here, but Tom Brady... He was carried by a good team. Don't get me wrong, he's clutch and he's the best quarterback of all time. Not true. But he was carried by a great team. Yeah. Um, I can't. All right, then I guess that's pretty much what I think, too. And speaking of, we're now going to be talking about the second place team in the division, the Miami Dolphins, who had a comeback year, to say the least. Jacob? Um, so I like where the Dolphins are at. I love the, the free agent signing of Will Fuller, but Tua is not the answer. They have a great team, good defense. I think where they lack the most is just an O-line. They just need a solid O-line, and they need a quarterback. Everyone's saying take Jamar Chase at six. I think if they can land Trey Lance, I, I agree. think Trey Lance is going to be a stud. I think they can make the playoffs first or second year with Trey Lance. Two is not the answer. Trade him. Completely agree with you. The Dolphins are doing some smart trading, though, during this offseason. Considering, like, trading up, trading down, all their draft picks, completely finessing the Eagles. True. Yeah. Alright, now for probably one of my least favorite teams, not to be biased or anything, the New England Patriots. So, starting off, this was certainly not their best year, coming off a pretty good year in 2019. Jacob, what do you think went wrong this year, and what do you think, What what's your hot take on the Pats? They, it went wrong because they had no good receive. they had no good receivers, Basically, no good running backs, and no good quarterback, and no good defense. I don't know. They, the, pa the Pats' defense was not terrible this year. It wasn't awful, but it wasn't great. Didn't they Bill win, Belichick like... Bill Belichick carried them to seven wins. But this offseason, he went all out. Signing Hunter Henry, John o. Smith, Nelson Aguilar, Matthew Judon. Well, he did lose star stud guard Joe Tooney on the line which will, will, he will be hard to replace. They do have built, they have built a solid team. But Cam Newton, they aren't going anywhere. He's out of juice, Cam Newton, to be honest. I don't think he can do out, anything. I think at 15, if Mac Jones is available, you take him, you set up for the future. I don't think I Mac think, Jones will be available at 15, though. Well, who needs a quarterback from 6 to 15? True. He might be, but if he is available, you got to go with Mac. Or maybe, I know this sounds crazy, trade for a good quarterback. Trade for Kirk Cousins. Trade for Jimmy Garoppolo. Trade for Derek Carr. Trade for one of these quarterbacks that the teams are sick of, and they're going to be on the trade block if they aren't performing. But they can perform if on the right team. I completely agree. And now for the final team of the division, the New York team, 
as you know, Jacob is a huge fan of the New York Jets. Jacob? Diehard Jets fan, got a lot to say on this topic. I like what they did in free agency. Shaq Lawson, Corey Davis, Mm -hmm. Kevin Coleman. Overall, pretty solid free agency. Sam Darnold, solid trade, got a couple of picks. All right. I love the head coach signing of Robert Sala. I think he's a great coach. Completely agree. Um, I love the I love Zach Wilson. My hot take, he's gonna be the best quarterback out of the class and he's gonna win rookie of the year. Call me biased. Don't call me biased. That's just my opinion. So for me with the Jets, so as a Giants fan, it's hard to have a uh, it's hard to have that much hope in them. I mean, they can't get much worse from two and fourteen, right? Well, this year there's seventeen games, so what? Can they, they can be two and six, fifteen, which is worse? They can be one and sixteen, or they can completely lose every game, so all in seventeen, right? So the Jets have hit rock bottom this year. Well, almost rock bottom up, of course. There's, all, there's only room for improvement. Uh huh. Exactly. The Jets have made some bad trades, bad decisions, but. For Jets fans, uh, the future might be bright. I don't think the Jets bright. have made a lot of bad decisions. Absolutely in the past, but in the past, but since Salah became coach and Joe Douglas became GM, I think they've made some good decisions. Completely agree. And on that note, that's going to do it for today's video. On part two, we're going to be talking about the AFC North with the Steelers, Bengals, Ravens, and Browns. So we'll see you next time on our hot takes for the 